I'm going to give you a couple minutes to stretch and warm up, and then we'll get started. Don't beat the cat up, though. <laughs> Jeez, just drop the cat? Mean. All right, just a couple more minutes. Get all warm and loose. Uh, Mr. Mathis, I'll have you on the red, Bob, and then Ian, you'll be on the blue. All right, Miss Riley, go ahead and gra um, get on your kicking bag, please. All right, so we're just going to do a basic warm-up. You know, basically, you're going to kick, put it down, step back, kick, put it down, step back. Just this motion here to get the blood moving, get your footwork going. All right, start slow, increase the speed as you get comfortable. Ready, go. Kick down step, kick down step. Make sure that bot, that hip is coming around. So they were hitting with the instep of the foot. Kick down step, kick down step. Round house kick, yep, instep of your foot, top of your foot. All right, sir. Yep. All right. So after you kick, place it down, step back, kick down, step back. That way you're alternating legs. Yep. Okay. It's all about footwork. It's all about your footwork. Kick down, step. Nice, Miss Riley. There you go. Keep those hands up. Keep those feet loose. Kick down step. There you go, sir. Kick down step. Good rotation. Excellent, sir. Excellent. There you go, Mr. Ian. Good. Okay, about 45 more seconds. Okay, 30 more seconds. Good, 20 seconds left. All right. Remember, kick down step, kick down step, kick down step. Turn that hip over so you're hitting with the instep of your foot. There you go, good. All right, relax for just a little bit. Walk it out a little bit. Breathe in, breathe out, catch your breath. Riley, can your bag go up a little bit higher or no? Okay. 
Maybe one slot up if you can. No. <laughs> if it doesn't, it's fine. Go ahead and leave it where it's at. That's fine, yeah. Okay. All right, so we're going to do some face, face height roundhouse kicks, just touching. Just tap, right? Pick that knee up, tap, tap that face. Bring the knee up high. The higher that knee goes, the higher that kick's going to be. If your knee is low, then you're going to kick low. You got to pick your knee up high. You got to lean back a little bit and then flip, okay? It doesn't matter what part of the foot you hit with. As long as it touches the head, it's going to score. So, right, just some high kicks. Kick, once again, step down, and then kick again. One, kick down step, alternating legs. Ready, go. You don't have to go very fast to try to get it up to the head. Just touch that head. All right, with balance. All right, stretch it out. There you go, good. Excellent. There you go, Mr. Ian. Not bad, sir. Nice. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Good. Very nice, Mr. Mathis. Excellent. Can certainly tell that that left side's a little bit more limber than the right. Yeah, the left is higher than the right by about by about two inches, two or three inches. So it's not bad. There you go. Keep those hands up, Miss Riley. There you go. Okay, forty seconds. <laughs> You're right, Mister Ian. All right, just pick that knee up. Key is to try to pick that knee up really high. That'll help you get up high. Fifteen seconds. All right, relax, catch your breath. All right, so the next one is just kicking with just the right leg, right? Kick down, kick down motion, right? Just to the body, okay? So basically you're gonna be bouncing, Kick down, kick down, kick this motion. Okay? Just stay in rhythm and try to stay consistent through the whole thing. Don't worry about blasting the pad. Just make sure you're tapping it with the instep of your foot. Ready? Go. Kick down, kick down. All right. Keep going, keep going. There you go. You're great. There you go. Good. 45 seconds left. Good. There you go, sir. Good. Good. A little bit more turn on that hip, sir. There you go. There you go, Riley. Come on, keep your rhythm. Keep the rhythm, Riley. There you go. Make sure you're bouncing with that left leg. Bounce, kick, bounce, kick. Yes, there you go. Just make sure the hands don't go crazy. 15 seconds. Keep those hands up. Come on. Push, push, push. 10 seconds. All right. Relax. Catch your breath. Okay. Get ready to do that left side. I'm going to give you a minute. Get your breath. Deep breaths. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay, 25 seconds. Catch your breath. Slow deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. Try to slow that heart rate down a little bit. 
All right, once again, right, with that left side, you're bouncing every second count, you're lifting and kicking. Rhythm, one, two, don't worry about blasting it hard. Once again, try to maintain the rhythm for the entire minute. She jump, go. Kick, down, kick, down, kick. All right. There you go. Bring that hip around a little bit more, Miss Riley. There you go. Good. Good. There you go. Keep going. 25 seconds left. Keep going, keep going. 15 seconds. All right, relax, catch your breath. We're gonna do one more set of these, but that, the next one that you're gonna do, you got a minute to rest, so breathe, right? The next one that you're gonna do is you're gonna go two times each leg. So right leg, one, two, and then switch. Left leg, one, two. One, two, one, two. This motion, one, two, okay? All right, catch your breath. You got 30 seconds left. Slow deep breaths. Get all that oxygen in your in your lungs. All right. 10 seconds. Okay. All right, ready. She jump, go. Switch, one, two, switch, one, two, switch, one, two, switch. There you go, good. So you wanna put it down each time if you can, Mr. Ian. Kick, down, kick. Kick, down, kick. All right, a little bit easier that way. Kick, down, kick. There you go. And don't worry about bringing it all the way to the back. Kick, just put it down and kick. There you go, 25 seconds. Okay, get ready, I want you to push yourself. I want you to push yourself starting now. Push to the finish, push, push, push. A little bit quicker, a little bit faster. One, two, one, two, one, two. Keep going, push, 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 push. Go, 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 go. All right, relax, okay. All right, take a break, take a break. Good job, take a break. Get some water, walk it out. I'm just trying to get that heart rate up, get that endurance, get that stamina up. You got a few minutes. You got a few minutes. Catch your breath. <laughs> all right so the next one that we're going to work on is you're going to put your hands on the the bag right and from here you're going to pull your hips back and you're going to kick roundhouse kick this way kind of a close quarters kind of thing so if you don't pull your hips back you're going to end up hitting with your knee and your shin okay so we wanna pull our hips back so that we're hitting with the instep of our foot while we're pushing here. Okay, so bring your hips back and you kick. Okay, 
Once again, to the body or to the, to the chest height or waist height. Okay. All right, let's try it. Ready? And she jerk. Try to hit that chest pad, right? Just the right, right? You can alternate legs, that's fine. All right, just work on pulling those hips back. All right, just keep pressure on that bag. All right, pull the hips back and kick so that the instep hits the bag. The instep hits the chest pad. Okay. There you go, good. You gotta pull those hips back. Give yourself space so you can get the leg up. Keep going. All right. There you go, Riley. Good. There you go. Good. All right. Relax. 30 second break. We're going to do it one more time. If you stayed on the one leg, switch to the other leg. If you're alternating, do it again one more time. So once again, pull your hips back away from the bag. That way you can get the foot up, the instep up to hit that bag. Okay. All right, ready. She jump, go. Pull those hips back. There you go, good. There you go, sir, good. Good, gentlemen, nice, nice, nice. There you go, Miss Riley, good. Nice, there you go, good. Keep going. All right, relax, good. Shake out the legs, walk it out a little bit. Okay. So the next one now is from that close in position. You're gonna shuffle back and then kick, roundhouse kick, right? So right up next to it, shuffle back and kick or push back, either way. You can either shuffle and kick, or you can push and kick, right? Push kick is a lot faster. One, two, versus shuffle kick. So if you can get the push down, right? Push is basically, I'm gonna lift my back leg and put all my weight on my front leg, and then I'm gonna push back, push backward. So it's this motion here into my kick. The key here is to make sure that whenever that back leg touches the ground, it's gotta come right back up, okay? If you don't do this, you lean back, it takes you a long time to get that kick up. You want it to be come up quickly, so you wanna be able to touch and then right back up as quickly as you can, okay? So that's the motion. Right up next, basically working off the clinch, push off, and then kick, okay? Ready? Okay, she jug, alternating legs. So get up close, push off and kick. Make sure you turn that foot over though, right? If you don't turn that foot over, you're gonna hit an elbow. All right, you're gonna hit an elbow with the shin or the instep of your foot, which is gonna be very painful. You're gonna hit the point of the elbow. So that's why you gotta turn that hip over. That way, if the arm's in the way, you're hitting the top of the arm, right? And you're still gonna do damage to, the, to your opponent, right? Hitting them on the side of the elbow versus doing damage to your foot, right? Push, 
push back and kick. As soon as that back leg touches the ground, it comes up. Okay, push off kick. Push and kick. Keep going. All right, one more minute. Good. Make sure you rotate, turn those hips. Good. There we go, good. Nice, Miss Riley, it looks good. All right? Good job. Keep going. 25 seconds, 25 seconds. There you go, Mr. Ian, good. All right, there you go. Push off and kick, one, right away, a little bit quicker. One, two, there you go. 15 seconds, good. Turn those hips over, bring that knee around. All right, relax, catch your breath, good. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing again, right? We're gonna do that same motion. But this time when you come around, instead of roundhouse kick, you're gonna do it as a crescent kick across the, across the face. Okay, across the front of the face. So you're gonna push off, push back, and then crescent kick. All right. Catch your breath. And this one here, once again, you don't need to kick hard on the crescent kick. You just need to get the foot up there, right? As long as it touches the headgear, it's gonna count. Doesn't have to be a solid kick. As long as they hit that headgear. So you wanna make sure you hit the side of the face. Okay, 15 seconds, let's get ready. Remember, push off and plant and then throw the kick. All right, ready. She jug, alternating last, boom. Try to get up to face, graze that face if you can, right? Hit it with the toes. There you go, good. Nice. There you go, sir, good. Good. There you go, good. Don't fall backward, Miss Riley. Right, I want you to be able to touch the top of that, that bag. All right, touch it with your toes. Touch the top of the bag with your toes. There you go, good, nice. Ah, you gotta stretch, stretch, touch those toes, right? Kind of like you're trying to tap. Yeah, more forward, more forward on that crescent kick. Bring it down just a tiny bit. There, yes, that's what I want to see more of, yes. Okay, 45 seconds, come on. Keep going. Good. Nice. There we go, good. Excellent, excellent. Keep going, 15 seconds. All right, relax. Good job, take a break. All right. So the next exercise this time is we're gonna kick with the front leg. So all these ones that we've been doing, we've been pushing off and kicking with our back leg, the leg that's furthest away from our opponent. So now this time from here, you're gonna push one and then you're gonna kick with the front leg, the leg that's closest to your opponent, okay? So when we do this exercise, push and then lead leg roundhouse kick. Make sure you turn that knee. Once again, you don't wanna kick upward here. You kick upward, you're gonna catch an elbow, the point of the elbow on your instep. So you wanna make sure when you push, push, turn the hip, turn the knee. 
right? Hit the side. So, uh, Mr. Mathis and Mr. Ian, you guys are going to be facing the bag this way. So, you'll be this way, one, and kicking the side. So, okay. All right. Let's get ready. So, so yeah, Riley, so you'll be hitting. It doesn't matter where you're hitting. You just want to make sure that you're hitting with that front leg. Don't push back too far, right? You push back really far, you're not going to be able to hit anything, right? You want to get just enough space so you can still get your front leg roundhouse in there, okay? All right, ready. Okay, she jump, go. You're just doing the same leg. All right. Make sure that knee turns over, right? There you go. There you go. A little bit lower, Miss Riley. There you go. Yeah, right there. Right there. Boom. That's where you want it. Right there. Waist level. Trying to sneak it in underneath the guard. Right? So you can catch him in the stomach. Turn that hip. Turn that hip. Bring that knee around. There we go. Good. All right. So think about that, that blue dot. Try to get to the blue or the red dot on the chest pad. All right, it's the hard part. Boom. All right. If we don't get that kick up high, guess what happens, right? We end up getting called for a low kick because it's gonna get, it's gonna hit basically on the bottom part of that chest pad. And anything that's below the chest pad is considered a low kick. All right, so penalty. So that's why you wanna make sure you're hitting that chest pad. Keep going. 20 seconds. Good. Nice. Push and kick. Push and then front leg. All right. Relax. Catch your breath. We're going to do the other side. Catch your breath. Same thing. Same motion. All right, once again, important to pick that knee up, turn that knee over so you can hit with the instep. Catch your breath. All right, ready. Pushing lead leg roundhouse. Okay, she jump, go. Once again, try to get that chest pad up to that dot. Boom. Waist level, stomach level. There you go, Mr. Riley, right there. There you go. Good. Nice. Try to keep that foot in the front. One lift and turn. Bring that hip around. Good. Push. There you go. Create some space there, Mr. Ian. And then boom. There you go. Good. All right. There you go, sir. Turn that around a little bit more. There you go. Good. There you go. Good, sir. Good. Try to hit that chest pad. Try to hit that chest pad. Keep going. 30 seconds. Doing great. Doing great. Keep going. 15 seconds. There you go, Riley. A little bit higher. There. Push. Nice. Try to keep that weight right in the center. Yes. All right. Come on. Take a break. Take a break. Walk it out. Good job. Good job. Good job.
All right, so the next one that we're going to do now is attacking roundhouse, right? So from this position, you're going to be away from your bag. You're going to do your skip roundhouse kick motion here, push back, and then the second roundhouse kick, and then reset. So then other leg, skip roundhouse, one, push back, two. Okay? On the push back, uh, Ms. Riley, you can go high if you want to. All right, you can go high with a crescent or a roundhouse, right? Gentlemen, same thing as well, right? So you're going to do the skip roundhouse kick to the side, aiming for the side here, push back, and then boom. Either crescent kick to the face or roundhouse kick to the body. Okay? All right. Take your time with this. Get your footwork and everything going. Ready? She chuck. So if you're going to go high, Riley, do crescent kick, please. Okay. And then reset, give yourself space, skip quick, right? Fast kick. Right away. Yep. So scoot back. See right there, you want to do a skip there. Riley, you got to get further back, right? Initiate attack, right? Right there, boom. Go in. Bam. Yeah, we got to be quick though. Light on the feet, right? Snap, one, push back, two. Get your hands out, push them back, right? So skip, pop, push, and two. There you go, that's what we want. Okay, you should be alternating legs. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, alternate. There you go, right? Once you go in, push back. Boom, get inside, push. There you go. Good. Push. Nice. Good job, sir. Keep going. Boom. Push. Nice, Riley. Just like that. Right away. There you go. Be quick. Be quick. Got to be light on the feet. Quick, quick, quick. There you go, Mr. Ian. Push back. Yep. So skip. Push and kick, yep. So kick with the front leg. So skip, kick with the front leg, push, and then kick with the back leg, okay? So front leg, push, push, and then kick with your back leg, yep. Okay? All right, one minute, 45 seconds left on this drill. Keep those hands up as you're coming in, Miss Riley. Okay? Because the motion that you make, the forward motion you're going in, they're going to back up and try to counter. So you got to be ready. There you go. Good. Okay, one minute. One minute. There we go. Good. A little low. <laughs> So, pop. There you go. There you go. Try to pick that knee up a little bit higher, sir. One. There you go. Good. Turn that hip over. Turn that hip over. Hit with that instep. 45 seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Okay, relax. Go and get some water. Take a break. We're going to finish with three rounds of kind of shadow fighting on the bag. All right. Basically, you're going to use all your footwork, all the different things that you know. You're going to move the bag. You're going to move around the bag. All right. So, Riley, if you want, maybe want to move that bag to the center. That way you can go around it in different directions and stuff. All right.
So basically move around the bag, do different things, right? Different kicks, different techniques. So you just gotta make sure that everything is at least that waist level or higher, okay? Waist level or higher. Basically just kind of shadow boxing, shadow fighting, whatever you wanna call it, okay? We're doing three rounds, three rounds. Championship, right? This is a championship match, three rounds, okay? So you'll get um, two minutes, one minute break, two minutes, one minute break, two minutes, okay? Ready? She junk. All right. So don't just limit yourself to being in one direction, right? Move around, sidestep, come from the side. Keep those hands up, protect yourself. There you go, keep kicking, lots of kicks. All right. Try to think in twos, right? One, two, one, two. Kick, move, move, kick. Kick, 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 punch. Block, kick. All right, think in twos. All right, work on some of those combinations, some of, those, some of that footwork that we worked on. Okay, you're halfway done that first round. You're halfway, halfway there. Go, go, go. Once again, this is championship round. All right, three two-minute rounds, championships. Go, go, go. Push, push, push. All right, utilize your hand techniques too. All right, don't just oh, go strictly to the body. Try to get some headshots in too. 30 seconds. Keep going. Ah, uh, don't lose your bounce in your step, Riley. Okay. Go, go, go. All right, come on. End of the first round. Get some water. All right. You got a full minute to, to take a break. All right, your coach is telling you you're losing the fight right now. Not kicking enough. You didn't score enough points. You dropped your hands. Okay, stay light on the feet. That's the key. Stay light on the feet. Make the kicks count. The kicks that you throw, make them count. Don't waste kicks. Don't waste techniques. Because that starts to tire you out, especially in a long three-round match. Okay. 15 seconds. All right. Second round. Once again, you're down right now in this round. You're down. All right, ready? She jump, go. Keep those hands up. All right? Conserve your energy. Be smart with your techniques. Don't just burn yourself out trying to throw as many kicks as you can. All right? Be smart about things. All right? Visualize what your opponent's giving you. Are they stepping into you? Are they stepping back, moving away, turning around? What are they doing? One minute, 30 seconds left. Nice, Mr. Ian, I like that. There you go. Good, keep going. Hmm. 65 seconds left. All right, halfway through the round. All right, you made up some of the ground. You're still behind. Keep those hands up even when you're resting, right? Be ready. 
All right, because when you're resting, they're probably going to try to attack. If you're showing that you're tired, they're going to try to attack. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. All right, good. There you go. All right. Now you've evened the score. You've evened the score. All right, it's all tied up going in. There you go, good. All right, come on. Okay, you have a slight lead. All right, you have a one or a two point lead, basically a one technique game. So you don't have much of a lead. Okay. So you gotta fight the way, think about it. you have a lead. How are you gonna fight when you fight with the lead? Okay, you're not gonna be all aggressive, 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 aggressive. Right? You're going to be more counter, counter, counter. Wait. Wait for the other person because they have to catch you. Okay? But once again, when they make a mistake, you make them pay. 25 seconds. Once again, you have a one or a two-point lead right now going into the last and final round. Okay? You got two minutes, remember. Two minutes. Two minutes to preserve your lead and maybe um, increase it. You gotta have good technique though. Keep those hands up, don't drop. All right, fight extends. Ready? And shijuk, go! Last round. All right. Keep those hands up, right? Don't give up, don't give up techniques and shots because you dropped your hands. There you go, good. All right, make use of some of those opportunities, right? Get a headshot in if you can. 90 seconds left. Still a one-point lead, one-technique lead. Nothing has changed right now. Keep going. You're almost done. Home stretch. Almost halfway there. All right. Good, keep going. All right, you've increased the lead by two techniques now. All right, you got a three or four point lead. All right, halfway, one minute left in the round. Preserve the lead. Don't drop those hands. All right, they're starting to come. They're starting to press a little bit. They're pressing you a little bit, right? They got to try to get those points back. Boom, they got one back right there, right? Down to a one technique game again. Oh, they got you again. All right. Point guard there. Now it's even. It's a tie game. Okay, 30 seconds. 30 seconds left. Keep going. All right, still tied. Don't let jump. Don't drop your guard. Oh, no, they got a shot in. They got one up. They're up by one. 15 seconds. You got to get it back. Get it back. There you go. Got it back. Try to finish it before you go into sudden death. You don't want to go another round. Finish strong. Go. Three, two, one. Come on. Good finish. Good finish. All right. Great job, you guys. That's good for tonight. Okay. Good stamina work. Excellent job. All right, good job, Ms. Riley. Okay, we'll see you um, maybe tomorrow or next week, okay? Oh, Ms. Riley, next week we won't do any sparring stuff because of testing. So you'll, you'll have to just take regular class, okay?